In June this year, photojournalist Sean Smith spent one month patrolling with the 501st Parachute Regiment in the vast areas of West Paktia, near the border with Pakistan. It is almost a year since Barack Obama was elected with the promise of refocusing on Afghanistan. On the ground, there is little sign of progress. A report comes in on the radio that a Humvee in the convoy has been hit by an IED. Soldiers from the convoy rush to help their comrades. Two men, one elderly, are arrested. Hey, they got any hurt? I don't know, I heard 9-5. Do a radio check though. Wary of anti-personnel mines, they cautiously approach the Humvee. Luckily on this occasion, there were no injuries. No fucking way an IED got dug in that close without these motherfuckers seeing something. They run to search the compounds close to the explosion. One more right. Under control, gentlemen, under control. Stay under control, don't go off by yourself. Hurry up! The arrested men are tested for explosives. Light blue, light blue, motherfucker. You wipe his hands and then you spray shit on it and it'll turn it a certain color for a certain explosive. So this guy's definitely been playing with some shitty shit now. He has. Soldiers wait for the damaged vehicle to be recovered. Elders arrive to ask for the arrested men's release. The lieutenant asks them if they saw the Taliban. Same story everywhere. Yeah. Well, they blew up some, you know, stuff that was supposed to be for the Afghan people. So, you know, the Taliban are not working for you. They're working against your own good. The discussion ends for evening prayers. Both arrested men were released. Afghan forces are central to the U.S. strategy but often they seem to be pursuing different objectives. They're, you know, that they're arresting these suspected uh, Taliban. <laughs> and here they are just hey, what's that? executing personal business. The last time, the one time we came over here, they were just like, oh, we, we don't have any ammo. The only thing, we can't go out on patrol, we can just stay here. <laughs> it's like, all right. Everybody I see has a full rack full of magazines, so. It's an important meeting with the governor of the whole province, Abdul Katawazai. The American commander, Captain Connor, voices his concerns about the leadership of the local Afghan forces. Is not letting them do their job of securing uh, villages in this area or chasing the Taliban out. The governor disagrees. These people are so fickle, man. Full of shit. They say like Taliban comes down and, and like fucking aggravates their towns and harasses them and shit. There's like three dudes, two dudes at a time. How many people are there in your village? Uh, a couple hundred, whatever. Okay, why don't you fucking kill those motherfuckers? All of you have AKs or some type of weapon. 
but but they come down and they kill us. Well, kill them. I mean, if someone's going into my hometown, I know my town wouldn't fucking stand for that shit. They'd be like, "Fuck you, you're dead." The one and a half million dollar mine-resistant vehicle, the MRAP, is the kind of vehicle called for by British politicians. It is seen as an answer to IEDs. All right, you're gonna have to hold it up while I get up there. That's nice. That's but it comes with its own problems. This happens every time we come out, I'm not gonna lie. Every time we come out, one breaks. It's great. And these things aren't really made for Afghanistan. Honestly, they're made for like Iraq on the roads. Cause that's what they built for, to take IEDs and everything. This is another MRAP, completely disabled by an IED. These people just want to be left alone. Yeah, they got dicked. With, they got dicked with from the. Russians for 17 years, and then now we're here. Yeah. Same thing in Iraq when I was there. These people just want to be left alone. They have their crops, weddings, stuff like that. That's it, man. I'll gladly leave them alone. <laughs> A few weeks later, Bo Bergdahl, pictured in this photo, disappeared. The circumstances are unclear. He was next seen in a Taliban hostage video. He is yet to be released.